What's up, y'all? Welcome back to BNL Reactions. Today, we're looking at what if Payne went to the Five Kage Summit by Steph the Programmer. So, let's go ahead and get it started. Money making season and being broke is treason. Dang, off the rip, they just start off with this. Mm. Shinra Tensei. Come on, man. Y'all start the video off with Shinra Tensei? That's tough. Hello, everyone. It's your host, Set the Program. With me today, I have my two good friends, Swag Kage and Six, who is a new guy on the channel. He knows a lot about Naruto. He's pretty edgy with it, so we decided to get him on. He's also pretty cool, so check out his channel down below. But today... Hey, guys, it's me, Six. But we're going to be doing... Kage. We're going to be doing... <laughs> what the f... So they got Swag, Six, and Seth. Dude. What would happen if we dropped Pain in the Kage Summit instead of Sasuke? And we're gonna be going over, could the Pains win? Would they just, would they do well? Like how many would they take down? How would they take down certain people? How would it go? I think it's an interesting video. So if you guys have anything you wanna start with, um, you can do that. But otherwise I can just kind of get into like the narrative of why I think it's, it's definitely good. interesting. Is no. there like a bonus round where like, since this is the same situation that Sasuke was in or like Obito steps in? Because, uh, mm -hmm. spoiler I mean, alert, I don't really think it changes anything, but... I don't know if... I feel like... Obi Hold on, y'all. Before they start, let me just try to think, because it's a lot... It's a really interesting topic, man. I don't think there's anyone from the Kage's that could really stop pain. Uh, Onoiki is like a cheat code. He can dismantle everything. Um, May isn't really relevant. Um, what's his name? Not Killer B, but his brother. <sighs> Dang, what was his name? A. He might be able to, but he's so he's a physical attacker. Like he's a Taijutsu person for real. Mm, like his his. I don't know, because here's the thing that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the animal summons. What can they do against the animal summons? People underrate the animal summons of pain. Like pain's animal summons is crazy. The chameleon, the dog who every time you hit him, he split off into a new dog. So now you got to fight two dogs just because you punched them once. Then once you punch the another dog, boom, now you got to fight three and they just keep racking up. Like that's incredibly tough to deal with. Then you got the chameleon. Then you got uh, the rhinos and all that. Like this is a whole bunch of summons that's great for crowd control. Uh, what's another one? We already did May Anoki. Uh, Tsunade, she's physical again, bro. I just don't know. Like, and Pain got so many hacks abilities, like snatching your soul out. So if he turned invisible with the chameleon, then snatch your soul out. I mean, what you gonna do? You can't do nothing against that. Or he got the other dude. I forgot what was his name, but um, the one who could make all the weapons and stuff. And just hit you from a range with rockets. Like, come on, man. It's too many. Like, they got some hacks abilities, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. So I don't know what the Kage could really do. Like, besides Anoki, Anoki, however you say his name. Besides him. And besides him, it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty spooky for the Kage. I ain't gonna hold you. Changes anything, but I don't know if I feel like Obito would want him to win, but so so here I'll start off with the narrative. How about that? So the narrative argument is obviously is that um, after fighting Killer B and Sage Naruto loses to Pain, um, Obito thinks that Sasuke is so inferior to Naruto that he doesn't even want to roll up to the Leaf Village with him. Obito, Sasuke, and Zetsu shouldn't roll up to the Leaf Village. It might be a waste of time. And he thinks that Naruto, who just lost to Pain alongside the entire Leaf Village, Gamabunta, and all the Sage Frogs, and needed the Nine Tails and Minato to save him, would mop Sasuke. Like, just some, like, mm. basically almost a random, you know, combatant in that battle. So it, you have then Sasuke goes to the Kage Summit, who, even though he's supposed to be way weaker than Pain. Way, way weaker than Pain. Way, way and weaker. Even though he. Pretty much almost solo kills. He got good Kage hacks abilities after, though. You know, struggling with the May blaze ability and, Nara and having to fight all these people. Obito says, I thought you would have done better. 
He said that. He literally said, I thought you were gonna do better. I thought you were gonna weaken them so I could like take a hostage or two at least. So if pain is way stronger than that, you can guarantee some bodies are gonna hit the floor, like literally. So um, I do think that pain actually does stand enough of a chance to at least like contest this. I know some people think the right Kage would just instant blitz and annihilate pain. I don't think that's <laughs> no, I don't think so wide at all. The other well, thing so, now, if if one of the I pains get hit, real quick, they going down. We know that Sage Naruto should be relative in speed to the right Kage because he's like able to move like faster than the third Raikage. So, you know, if we just quickly assume that like uh A the fourth and A the third are like relative speed, then like yeah, that that like him like getting like annihilated immediately by a speed blitz shouldn't like that shouldn't really be a factor. Right. Yeah. Also it's kind of debatable whether or not you think Sage Naruto is has better reaction and combat speed than KCM. That's a whole yeah. different can of worms. Naruto seems to think it is. There's like weird arguments you can make about that. But the other narrative argument is, of course, that Zetsu, despite being the Akatsuki's intel man, he knows about mm -hmm. Minato, he knows about Kakashi, he knows about all the Kage he's been watching okay. since the days of Kaguya, waiting for his chance to raise people up to destroy the world, right? This Zetsu thinks that Obito even conceiving that pain would ever be defeated was inconceivable. He thought it was just completely unthinkable that anybody would have taken down pain despite him being the Akatsuki's intel man. He watched That's a lot of hype. eat Kakazu. He saw all the fights with Deidara, he saw the fight with Sasori. He saw Heroes and versus Orochimaru. He saw all of those battles, but pain losing. Damn, my boy started running like Sonic. You he saw that? All of those battles. Look at his feet. Pain losing. He, he started doing the Sonic run. Maru. He saw all of those battles, but he was out there losing inconceivable yeah. so it it's very bizarre to say that pain stands no chance because of power cliffing though it seems really awkward to say that but i'll let you guys speak for a little bit i just want to yeah. make my opening so so the the context behind what seth is talking about is obito is saying that he had like plans in case pain would have died and zetsu is basically thinking like why would you even make plans in case of <laughs> what, yeah. what made you think that that would ever happen right that, that's what yeah. that's who he's talking about um so he just thinks that pain is like completely unstoppable like he watches the five villages he knows of itachi and his susano with the totska blade mm -hmm. he knows about kieran and all of that stuff still thinks pain is unstoppable I also think that power cliffing in Naruto is a really weird argument for like pain losing to the Kage because like the, the power progression in Naruto is, I mean like it's linear, but the line definitely isn't straight, right? Like it goes all over the place sometimes. Like you go from like Kakashi versus Zabuza in the land of waves to literally like genin fighting in the chunin exams and then you go up to like the sani level fight and like the three-way deadlock and then back down again to like genin chunin level with the sasuke retrieval arc yeah so it's very reasonable to assume that like the general power level could have gone down uh narratively speaking uh from the pain arc to the five kage summit arc so i think like anybody arguing uh power cliffing like seth was saying i mean i i, I think that's a bit weird it, weird. it also um, seems yeah. bizarre too because here's the thing about naruto that a lot of people don't know and this is more evident in the novels like the people don't know that itachi knows about sage mode because he read about it and studied it in school like he, he read about sage mode in school right he yes. was like he was educated on it and shukaku is probably you know one of the smartest people of in you know, all of naruto he's smarter than shikamaru right who's considered yeah. a type of genius well they, they made him like the intel yeah. like lead like the, right. the strategist of the whole allied shinobi forces exactly. yeah. They, yeah they had to pick like smart man out of the whole world and they right. were like, smart man what i'm saying is is that <laughs> this guy knows about sage mode he sees sage naruto he's like you know what uh shikamaru i don't care if you fought hidon and you know beat him with a strap you, you would do nothing to pain you, you don't even go over there I, i'm not going with you either no one's going over there we, we just get in his way a uh, guy and lee come yeah, get out, yeah. Get out of the way stop, stop. <laughs> don't get any closer uh, shikaku right? doesn't tell uh tell them that it's a uh, tsunade slug but yeah like they all think that sage naruto is on like another level exactly right? and then yeah. what people don't know is fatigued pain 
annihilates him after destroying the whole leaf village and all the sage toads that's true so he did need like three backup uh sage clones we know that you can get mental amps in naruto and after he gets out of chibaku tensei and talking to minato pain notes that all of naruto's doubt has been erased so yeah pain likely beaten amped up sage naruto and an example of this is obviously he also got amps versus haku as well which yeah. made him above kakashi without even a bijou cloak right in the land yeah. of waves as an example yeah. so these mental amps are extremely pivotal in naruto so and the fact pain just absolutely annihilated it that out of the way i think we establish this is a discussion that can be had because some people just think it can't happen right mm -hmm. so how do you think it would actually go down now that we've established it can happen um so i think the right kage is around like sonning level right like with tsunade jiraiya <laughs> and orochimaru and all yeah that, right? and i agree with that obviously killed jiraiya right like, <laughs> yeah he <laughs> murdered him it was it was awful um jiraiya and orochimaru they're also implied to be around hirazen's level Okay. In part one, and here's in is stated by Kabuto, who spies on all five villages, by the way, right? Kabuto is like a super intel man. Like, obviously, he works for Orochimaru, who's in hiding. He's also trying to gain ultimate power. So, Kabuto should have like a fair bit of knowledge on the five mm -hmm. villages. Like Zetsu, he yeah. The here's in is the strongest Kage out of all of them. I would, I would also like to say, too, uh, before anybody says, well, what if the, the Kage got uh, swapped out? And I think the only Kage implied to be, like, taken out of power between that statement and the Five Kage Summit is, like, Yagura, who I think we can all agree <laughs> May is not <laughs> stronger than. Yeah, so, Yagura is actually pretty crazy, so. Yeah, so, uh, and, and by the way, yeah, like, like if we've got- Yagura looks so young, man. How old was Yagura? So, May is not. She, Yagura looks really, really young. I mean, I'm assuming she's an adult, but she does look young in this picture. <laughs> stronger than yeah so, yagura is actually pretty crazy so yeah so uh, and and by the way yeah like like if we've got pain above yagura from that statement that's that's another thing too but that that's kind of a separate thing the main thing to take away is that pain uh should be above uh hiruzen since orochimaru was above him and pain should be uh therefore stronger than all the people at this summit Another thing I find interesting is that people argue this power clipping thing, but then they're so willing to accept that Kirizen can come back and fight off the, the Buddha statue that's fighting off the entire Shinobi Alliance by itself. But yeah. he's supposed to be weaker. The only thing different is he has more stamina, right? Like, but so his power is enough to fight off the being at once that's going to blow away like the Shinobi Alliance, but he got power cliff. Seems kind yeah. of bizarre to me. You know what I'm saying? So also this will yeah, be true. Donzo. So how do you guys think Donzo will handle pain? So Donzo is actually pretty interesting because. But the thing about the heroes and statement that they just made is that. Yeah, his power level could or his power could uh, fend off the ghetto statue but edo tensei basically gives you like an unlimited supply of chakra so it's not that he like in his normal state in his alive state he could do that as well but he would have ran out of chakra a lot sooner as opposed to um in edo tensei you got unlimited the way that i think of edo tensei is because it's essentially a nerf even though you got unlimited chakra there's a certain cap, like um, amount. Is there? There's a cap on the amount of chakra you have, but it's unlimited. So let's say from zero to one hundred, instead of being, let's say if you was alive, you had eighty five out of a hundred chakra. You know, at Otensei, I think of it as like you came back, but you got forty, um, chakra. But the chakra is unlimited so that you can keep using like so basically your stamina basically is unlimited so you can keep using uh attacks but it's just at 40 power instead of 80 power but it's unlimited so you can just spam it and eventually you know you overtake somebody if you was fighting somebody you know what i'm saying so the fact that you could spam it makes it more powerful even though it's less powerful so i think that's what happened to haruzin like yeah he could um do that when he was alive but he would have ran out of chakra way 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 earlier 
because I think that um, he has a better matchup against Pain than Tsunade does just because of his hacks. But I right. don't think he has any like AP or like any like hacks of his own unless we use like the Storm Reverse Tetragram Seal. That's like an insta kill. Um, <laughs> In the Storm. Uh, uh, but, but, yeah, yeah. But but unless we use that, I don't think he has like the AP to put Pain down. Unless so, like now that they counters. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> now now that we've got all the narrative stuff out of the way, uh, the thing about like the the kage fighting against the paths of pain is that not only is pain like physically strong right because you know like like the uh, asura path for example was able to physically overpower jiraiya and like rip off one of his limbs so we know that they should be physically strong enough to contend with them uh but also in sage mode yeah yeah in sage mode but but they, they should also be like they're, they're just way more like hacks um the the craziest example of like pain hacks is when like b like just runs up to nagato and like full powered like v2 cloak lariats him and this mm -hmm. is like a tai jutsu by the way right so it's not like like i don't think that the preta path can just absorb like like regular punches that aren't being amped by chakra and like b does this and like runs up to nagato and just punches him and nagato takes no damage and actually like instantly sucks up all of B's chakra. And, like, <laughs> like he sucks him straight out of V2. He goes back to base and is completely blown away. And uh, Kisame says uh, something along the lines of like, B has so much chakra that if he were to absorb it all, it would drive him insane. And Nagato just like right there in the blink of an eye sucks it all up at once. So I find it really yeah. hard to imagine. Yeah, that's that crazy. Them would have just this massive like humongous gargantuan uh, attack that would just like kill all of the pains at once that the prey to path wouldn't be able to absorb i would argue he would easily absorb even the particle style as well like oh he did no he would yeah moderate did it. yeah moderate did yeah. and like exactly. seth mentioned this is including donzo and donzo is actually directly weaker than pain so yeah. there's a statement for Getting going. whenever suigetsu meets up with ems sasuke right that reviving Orochimaru is a bad idea because Sasuke always underestimates him and Orochimaru, even without his arms, will still be dangerous to him, right? Now, so he guess who doesn't know about EMS Sasuke, but he does know about MS Sasuke and his Susano because he was with him in the Kage Summit, right? Mm -hmm. So he's saying that now they've just surpassed their mentors, whereas that earlier Sasuke didn't. Obviously being Orochimaru, you know, like the Sani tier of people who yeah. pain just scales over right and donzo yep. scales to ms sasuke if not below him so pain actually is just above donzo literally yeah well well like another way you can easily like put pain above one of the kage too is that um orochimaru should be like without sickness of course should be stronger than um heavy sasuke especially the heavy sasuke before he absorbed the orochimaru and that sasuke beat datara who beat gara so you know pains like like yeah, by, that's like, true multiple levels you know above gara pretty easily too so yeah um you know we've already knocked two of them out i think another thing that people underestimate is that absorption ability so you brought up a good example but people don't know is that that absorption ability is literally pretty much infinite like people don't yeah, know yeah it's that, so stated to be a bottomless pit it right? literally like absorbs all energy into like an infinite endless pit of just nothing right like a swamp of nothing yeah and he can so he can pretty much just absorb everyone and he can do like eight tails version two of killer b in a snap which is more yeah. chakra than any of these kage have so he can literally instantly sap all of them and basically if he gets his hands on them um another thing i wanted to bring up is that if we have full power tendo pain i wonder if just shinra tensei would just one shot <laughs> some of them okay so it blew away and damaged sage naruto gamma Bunta, and all of the sage toads and pretty much almost one shot at all of them and, and gamma Bunta is one tails okay. level all of gamma Bunta's bones and i was going to uh bring this up in a totally um unrelated uh discussion uh but uh gamma Bunta should be uh like bg level cause, yeah exactly uh, i just was, said that we literally watch him fight shukaku and he's taking attacks from shukaku um like and i mean like I, like he says like you know he like he like he can't take too many or else he'll die but like shukaku but he's relative shot him and then pain just runs up that gamma bunta is not even his main target it just boom breaks all of his bones right so like seth was saying 
if this is full power Tendo pain, uh, it could I very easily like they might just kill May. Uh, you know, Gara, like, I mean, like, I know Gara has a sand to block stuff, but I don't think sands could, like, block, like, a concussive, like, wave of, like... Plus, the Shinra Tensei push. would negate his sand anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's, like, stated to negate all... It would the also, dude. it'd also negate his sand armor as well and hit him directly, so... Dang. Yeah, so he'd just get blown into the wall and maybe die. And we um, have no real good, like, base Gara durability feats without his armor, so it's, like... It's like yeah. less than Datara level, with like a little bomb almost. Uh, the only person Gara just blocks attacks with his his sand. Like anytime he gets hit, he just dies. Really, like the only people <laughs> to hit him are Datara and Madara. And I really questioned if like someone like May would survive. Like I don't, I, I don't think, think she so. Would die and it yeah, would be like would an die. accident. <laughs> I don't even think he would an accident. I think she would so, just like get her like spine broken or something. So like a lot of people would argue, you know, like oh well the pains, you know, they're they're May's pretty weak person, when you compare everybody wise. else. But pain was getting jumped by a bunch of people who were Kage level in the Leaf Village, like by the whole Leaf like Village, that. in fact, yeah. Well, like so here's here's the thing we actually haven't talked about yet. Like, do people not think that like the Animal Path summons are good at? crowd control <laughs> bro i said that right. too like i feel like the crowd the the animal summons is crazy people be underestimating them i said this too man hey man i need to be involved in a little debates man Good i brought up the same point <laughs> you know right uh like i feel like they'd at least be able to handle like some of the the cog they're, able, uh, they're able to take giant sage rasengans and just kind of yeah. come back like no problem yeah yeah like the the uh the chimera dog just like tanks like a mega like, like a chimera dog it was monster. crazy monster yeah i don't know how did the how did the cog even deal with that what I it don't. beat them by itself? <laughs> yeah, I think I, maybe a no. It could like vaporize it at best, but like, how would the others deal with it? Maybe well, like just maybe, summon it again. Maybe Donzo yeah. would have to like tetragram seal it or something. Like, All is that the only to be thing? Summoned again. Okay, here's another argument too. What do we do about Donzo's Koto Matsukami? He gets one pain at best, and he dies. Simple. Dang. Because yeah. we know, actually, for some weird reason, the he pains can are individually affected well, by Genji. Well, no, 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 because remember Chisui with his, he could do it like over the entire Uchiha clan, but then for some reason, Donzo implied it could only do it to one. Yeah, like he only does it on Hanzo instead of doing it on all the Kage, so. And and he's also like, oh, I should I should save this for, for Madara, but, but Sasuke is going to kill me instead of just like <laughs> doing both of them so like donzo might just not be able to use it at the same range as shisui so yeah. even then like and then and then it's debatable how does it work on a corpse puppet that's being yeah. controlled from afar you know it's so and, and again it, so, it wouldn't it, it would only affect um the pain body not the actual like like, right, uh, does it like, does it, like go up the transceivers and like control Nagato? <laughs> like, no, no, because like, we know, we know, we know that Genjutsu only affects individual pain bodies when Jiraiya caught the three pains in mm -hmm. the frog song. The other pains weren't affected. They were the yeah. only ones trapped in there and it didn't affect Nagato at all. So I wonder as well if he could just turn off the pain that got hit by it. Yeah. yeah, so so we know the pains are like constantly getting chakra from Nagato, right? Which is like a way to break Genjutsu, right? Yeah. And so. in the anime, when Koto Masukami's put on Mifune, they break him out of it the same way you break people out of like normal Genjutsu. So there's a yeah. possibility that it just might not work at all. I think people downplay the pains Genjutsu resistance as well because of the frog song. But people don't realize that that frog song might be like the strongest jutsu, like genjutsu that we know of almost. Like well, well, the, the, the other, the other Actually, thing. Yeah, it's stated, it's stated in the data book that frog song is the strongest like genjutsu. Like maybe like off okay. genjutsu might be different, but the strongest genjutsu ever is what it took to take down those three pains. It's you the know, strongest? The main body from what we know. So with the whole Donzo thing, it might be complicated because he can come back to life over and over, but as we said, you might be able to imply that Donzo might just get one-shotted by Shinra Tensei too, yeah. just over and over <laughs> yeah, because it's over like... And over again. Well, because it should definitely had, be stronger than like a Susano punch, because, right? Because Sasuke just one-shotted him over and over. Like, it's not like he was like relative to Sasuke. He was just tiring Sasuke out after he got, kept being one-shotted. So it's like... Yeah. Yeah, it's... So, 
maybe maybe if pain like threw out a chibaku tensei and then he used one of his eyes to get out of it like maybe pain might be in a rough spot kind of but how would you guys what do you guys think about the five kage versus chibaku tensei let's hear that one um, um a tries to punch it and gets sucked up <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, were, we were talking about that like a is gonna fly into it like saitama versus the meteor and just like yeah, he's, to gonna punch get, through he's it. just gonna get sealed he, he's gonna be the first one gone right yeah and then <laughs> then anoki anoki's the next one to go because of his back problems <laughs> he might be may, able may to vaporize it dead. with particle style that's my may only did she got yeah. one shot by shinra tensei like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like she's, she's already she's gone she's already dead you're right also, yeah. the argument that gara might get one shot too because shinra tensei like negates his like defenses so yeah yeah uh, so Gar is dead too. So yeah. So it's just the Raikage, Onoki, and Mei and trying to. No, Donzo. Not Mei, not Mei Donzo. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Like trying to stop it. And like, <laughs> man, I don't even. Like, would Donzo even like help them? Would he be like, hmm, good. The other leaders are getting sealed. Like, yeah, he might try to backdoor him. If he in character, he'd be okay with letting him yeah. die first. He'd yeah, probably like, try to yeah. like, negotiate with pain and just die. <laughs> yeah he's like now i see your you know yeah like yeah. that maybe we're not giving the kage enough credit like maybe they could like use some crazy teamwork strategy but the problem is is that pain really does have good crowd control like we've yeah. seen him yeah. fight probably like twenty thousand. the animals by like, destroy them all at once basically well they also have like no like I guess synergy feats is what you would call it at the five kage somebody like they all hate they, each other they, they were able to like okay so they were able to like uh corner madara for a bit and he had to use perfect susano but it was no like, i'm talking about at the summit because they all hated each other there right they didn't want to work but together even, but even then it was like even then with madara the only reason he got tagged is because he like kind of let them let like them. he just wasn't even yeah, yeah. so like, and so but you have a good point like they weren't even like trying to really work together because if we're if the if the premise is what if pain was in sasuke's position is anoki just chilling with donzo and the kage room? yeah they definitely like, not working like, together like, kage gets solo stomped like yeah he might actually works. go through all of them one at a time yeah because the right yeah, kage is sure. like the most like battle hungry out of all of them so he tries to get pain first and just dies and then it's <laughs> yeah pain. i think i, I think yeah. I think they may take the leader of the Akatsuki a bit more seriously, but I wonder right. if Zetsu would have like, like snitched on Pain like he did Sasuke. I don't think he would. Probably not. Because yeah. with Sasuke, they were trying to amp him, but with he Pain, may actually like come in and like whisper to Raikage, "Hey, Pain's here," and then he'd be like, <laughs> "What?" And he'd like go out there by himself, and then, like the other Kage would be like really confused. Yeah, because the, the Raikage, the Raikage hates the Akatsuki in general, right? Not just yeah. Sasuke. So yeah, he might just like rush at Pain and just die really quickly. So Pain takes out the entire Leaf Village. We've gone over that, right? The Leaf Village. Yeah is one fifth of the shinobi alliance mm -hmm. what people don't know is that the shinobi alliance was actually formed specifically to counter the biju right they're like yeah. our best chance against the biju that madara has is to just form a shinobi alliance right so pain beating one fifth of them easily like the easiest of anything we ever seen pain super easy should, should yeah. just imply that orochimaru did a whole war to try to take out um the, the naruto village not naruto village the leaf village and even that he didn't succeed and then pain came in by his dolo boom wiped them out easy super easy the easiest of anything we ever seen pain do should, should yeah. just imply that pain would like stomp them out because the shinobi alliance includes the kage right like gar was out there yeah yeah so. overall i think we could wrap it up there i overall he just has the hacks Mm -hmm. he just has the we didn't even talk about soul item. steel yet yeah <laughs> soul steel is like, insta kill he pulls out their souls like what do they do <laughs> insta kill feel like oh here's here's something interesting could donzo use his eyes if his soul got grabbed I no. don't think so. Or would it negate his ability to So if it? these were like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I was like, reading them. <laughs> Why Yu-Gi-Oh? And I was like a judge at like a tournament. I would like rule against Donzo being able to use By the way, who actually knows how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Like I've never met anyone who actually knows how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um like we always just 
like the cards, like the like the um the pictures on the cards. We never actually knew how to play. We just collected the cards. Same with Pokemon cards. We just collected the cards because of the Pokemon on the cards look cool or get the holographic blue eyes, white dragon or, you know what I'm saying? Like who actually knew how to play that? There's like a judge at like a tournament. I would like, like why they got dice in the middle the with the dice for Izanagi in response to the soul. Why they got blank it's cards? Like what's going on? Hard. It does seem weird. It, it, it's, yeah. it's a little bit convoluted. I can see that for sure. But yeah, yeah, like maybe, but then pain just does it again. Yeah. So all in all, like, I just think the statements like Sage mode is probably faster than KCM. Like you can debate about that, but I think it's probably implied. I think it is. Yeah. Um, Naruto is considered stronger than Sasuke by a ton. And they thought that Sasuke could do well at the Kage Summit, even yeah. being weaker than Naruto, who got absolutely ragdolled by fatigued pain. Yeah. I think, and then obviously there's the Sanin scaling. The Raikage is somewhat of a rival for Tsunade, give or take. He's probably a little bit stronger, but, and then all the Sanin are kind of relative. So it's kind of weird for you know him to not scale to them and then all of these hacks that easily kind of deal with all of them said it said maybe donzo donzo is kind of complicated but other than that i just think it's just too it, it is pretty cut and dry but i'd love to hear your guys arguments maybe you guys think you know the they the get stumped easy win. maybe there's some good teamwork though maybe you think the pains are only good against 6v1s even though they fought the foldy village no the the animal summon pain might just solo them by itself because the dog the single animal summon of the dog might take out half of them. And then the other animal summons combined with the dog are taking out the other half. Like that one path of pain by itself might just solo the whole, the whole five Kage without the other, without the other pains. But yeah, y'all, that was the what if pain went to the five Kage summit by uh, Seth the programmer featuring swag and six uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, like the video, if you liked it, if you like this reaction, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. I'm out.